it's Nina Warthog Princess and welcome to a combined haul. There's a little bit of Stephanie Dawn, a little bit of Jujube, some bumpkins, some lug, and yeah, so it's going to be a fun one. The very first item comes from a friend of mine who is, uh, we've been meeting for arts and crafts a couple times a month um, on average, but anyway, she is making these little earrings. And they are super cute. She's making all sorts of different things. If you like mini brands, she makes mini brand earrings. And um, yeah, anyways, lots of fun things. And these I've just been moving around on the table so they're all tangled up. But these are little metallic silverware. So there's a fork and a knife. And she did give these to me because I was admiring them. We were crafting, I was doing diamond painting and she was making earrings. Uh, but she does sell them. So anyways, and the other two are little cleavers. <laughs> so funny. So um, you can mix and match or you can do them. But I definitely am going to do a video with her in the, hopefully in the near future. Um, because she's setting up a business on Etsy. So anyway, that's about that. More to come on that. But I'll put her information down below in case you want to get a preview of what she has. But if you watched my recent Stephanie Dawn video, I'll put a link here for that haul. And in that haul, I had a small essential case in their signature navy that had a little defect on it. And I had mentioned how amazing their customer service was. The replacement arrived just a day after I did the haul. Of course, timing is everything. Um, but it is perfect, of course. And very nice of them to send that out. I didn't even have to send the other one back. So I might even be able to maybe fix that and you know, use two pouches. These are such a great size. I might actually do that. Um, but the other thing that they sent along with it was a really big surprise, um, a very pleasant surprise. They sent one of their masks along with it. It's the pleated style mask. It does have a fitted nose piece and it does not have the um, pocket for the filters, but it's a multi-layer. So there's at least two layers of fabric there and very comfortable. So that is really cool. I did not expect that. So now I get to sample their mask. Yay, free stuff. So that was really cool. And above and beyond, I mean, that's awesome. So yay, Stephanie Dawn. And the next thing is I have been looking for a Jujube B switched. I have the B moved, which is the insert for the Super Bs, but the insert for the B lights was much smaller. And anyways, sold out everywhere. You can't find them. But I found them on a um, foreign site actually the baby footprint eco-friendly products for the entire family um, it says thank you for shopping small you are supporting a small town family we are able to contribute to our local events and groups when they are in need you are supporting a dream very cool and I went looking for it I found it on that site so I bought it and here it is oops I don't know what I just knocked off oh my love papers I'll have to grab that um, anyway, so the be switched here it is. It is um, an insert for a tote. It can be used all by itself. It has two carry handles. It has a front slip pocket, nice and big. And then same thing on the back. Inside, it's pockets galore. You have a privacy zipper pocket. Let's see how deep that goes. It goes down, um, actually about two thirds of the bag. It goes all the way down to there. And then in front of that, you have two big mesh elastic slips. On the opposite side, you have two mesh slips, two mesh slips below that, and then you have a mesh pocket on each side. So, I mean, you certainly don't have to use all the pockets, but you can, and there's the base of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is designed to fit in the bee light. So this bee light I already had. This is in the Camp Toki pattern. But let's see how, how great this fits in here. Now, the base of this is wider than the B light, so that's kind of interesting too. But the width of it is a great, great fit. Yeah. So when you look at it inside there, it does come up just to the edge. So it's perfect. And that allows you to have all that organization if you want to use your B light as a purse especially if you are changing bags to match your outfit or your mood or something, then you can simply just take everything out, move it to a different B-Light, and you don't have to do all your bag changes. 
Now, if you know me, you know I will anyway because all the pouches inside have to change to match too or not. But anyway, there's that. But I also have seen people use it with their backpacks. So I grabbed the MIDI backpack, which is the newer version. And this is in the Tweeting Pretty, just to see how I like that. So first, let's take a quick look at the MIDI. The MIDI does have some internal organization on its own. It has a privacy pocket, a big slip, and then two smaller slips. And nothing on the front, but look at the size of the base. So let's see how this fits in here. It does fit in there vertically, but if you look, these corners are just a little bit wide. So if you squish them in there, it does fit in there. So you can use this. Although I don't personally think that's optimum, but look at all the organization it gives you. So you just have to kind of tweak those corners to fit in the zipper. Definitely works though. Um, maybe the B packed would fit it a little better because it's just slightly bigger than the midi. And unfortunately I did not grab one of the B packed. I only have one um, and it's in Kauai Carnival, but I didn't grab it because uh, I just wasn't thinking, sorry. But I did grab a Vera Bradley bag because this is not just for Jujube. Um, I love that it's wipeable, washable, and all of that. But here is a Midtown tote, or small Midtown, in black, classic black. And this one does have a little bit of organization, but it has a crossbody strap, it has handles, it has external slip. It does have that little key and lock feature. But um, it has two slips and a privacy pocket. So pretty simple for a relatively large tote. So I wanted to see how this might fit in here. Um, okay, so mixed result here. If I put it inside, it is taller than the tote. So that's not optimum. It, there is extra room in here, so I could actually put a water bottle outside the be switched I'm not sure I would use these together because this would annoy me sticking up on top. So. I guess that's a miss. Oh well. I, I wasn't sure, but I thought we'd try it. But I do have other Vera bags that these inserts will also work in. And probably Lug bags too, although Lug has tendency to have much more organization of its own in general. So probably wouldn't even need it in there. But there we go. So the B switched. Yay, I found one. Love getting those unicorns. Okay, so let me grab this stuff that just fell. It was the, the lug haul stuff. I'm not going to get to it just yet because the next stuff, while I was on that site um, finding the B-Switch, there was a few other things that caught my eye. Um, Y'all know I love my pouches. And this is from Bumpkins. B-U-M-K-I-N-S, Bumpkins. It's a more baby stuff. I know I'm not a baby, but... I do like Harry Potter and I do love pouches and I also have some red and yellow Harry Potter stuff. So I got these, these are a snack bag three pack and they're waterproof fabric, machine washable, lab tested food safe. Very cool. And reusable to reduce waste, resist most stains, lightweight, durable fabric, zipper closure, machine washable, dishwasher safe, top rack. I hadn't thought about putting a pouch in the dishwasher. But, great to know that you can. So, let me figure out how to open this sucker up. All right, so three pouches. It looks like two of them are the same size. Yeah, and then there's a bigger one, like a sandwich size. Okay. So this one says, Courage, Determination, Gryffindor, Bravery. And it has, of course, the lion crest on it. These are are nylon, they're, they're thin, but they are like plasticized inside. So super great. Yeah, this could totally fit a sandwich and I, I would absolutely do that. Or other snacks, or not snacks at all, just use it as a purse organizer or in a backpack. Um, the smaller ones, you have a Gryffindor with the stripes and it's the same on both sides. And the last one is some of the small iconic things. It just has an H and then it has the house animals silhouettes on there. So that's pretty cool. Nice smooth zippers, they're pretty simple, but very lightweight, and I think they're gonna be excellent organizational pieces. Yay, okay. And then I also, <laughs> I saw these other ones. 
Calibri Canada or Colibri, C O L I B R I. They're made in Canada, reusable snack bags. But there's the brand right there. And they only had two of them because I tried to get three because I was going to get one for me and one for each of my two gal pals that I was going camping with this past weekend. Glamping. Anyways, we, have, we all have our own um, RV trailers and so we can be safe and still be together. But anyway, they only had two, so I guess I get two and they get none. <laughs> that's okay. I gave them Vera Bradley wine tumblers, stainless steel ones, so that's cool. Not that I had to give them anything, but just a nice fun thing. So these are like sandwich size snack bags. Let's see if this says anything about them. BPA lead and nickel free. 100% cotton liner, 100% polyester with polyurethane membrane. This is the large snack road trip is the pattern. Machine wash cold, dry on low. I would just personally hang dry. Um, yeah, that's all it says. Very cool though. Okay, but look, it's campers. Well, that's upside down, but yeah, that sucks. So the, the whole thing. This side's upright and the other side's upside down. That's okay. But this one has a, a lining, a separate lining. So the outer is, no kidding, cotton. And it is tacked down. Let's see if I can pull them apart. Yeah. So it's tacked on the seams all the way around, but in the middle you can separate the two. Yeah, so that's it's like um, it's like the PUL lining. Like on your waterproof pants for your baby or whatever. So this one has a black zipper. This is the same exact pouch, but it has a teal zipper. That's actually kind of fun for me because now I could use them both at the same time and tell contents apart without having to open it up. So that's cool. So these are for sure gonna go out into the camper because how perfect is that? Um, there you go. Okay, now we get on to the lug haul portion. So first thing is, we get the envelope, you know, with all of the papers in it. So I got that and all the cards. We got register, reminder. You don't actually have to register if you buy from Lug directly, it's automatic. Thank you card, Lug Live card. Uh, another thank you card, that's from one of the bags. Um, but they got the six pack of pencils in the floral edition. I love that, that's free. Free with purchase. Um, this one has Lily Sand, Bloom Black, Bouquet Blue, Wildflower Multi, Lily Teal, and Floral Multi. It's a nice set of pencils to add to my pencil collection, which is pretty extensive now. Um, and then I got the Living My Best Life Notepad, which is in the Lily, I don't know if you'd say that was Lily Teal, I guess. But there you go. So yay, another notepad. Um, but what I ordered, let's start with the masks. I have more masks than I can use in my lifetime, that's the truth. But wouldn't you know it, there were ones that I wanted that I didn't have. And because Lug sells them in the three packs, even though I only wanted one, one specific pattern, I had to buy the three pack. So that is unfortunate, but I did have a coupon and yeah. So this one is the three pieces Beaker Floral 2. This has Peacock Multi, Bloom Black, and Bouquet Black. Okay, why can't I open it? Oh, there we go. Okay, and these are the, the Beaker 2s, so they have the little vent hole in them. Uh, but most places that say you can't have like vents, it shouldn't affect this because one, there is still fabric in between you and the exterior because you have that interior liner piece. Also, if you put a filter in there, then you have all of that filter layers plus this. So it still should not be a factor. But this is the one I wanted. I specifically wanted the Peacock Multi because I have a bunch of Peacock bags now and I wanted to have that to go with it. I did get a big part of a Peacock, sadly no head, <laughs> but I got the feathers and I got the other color feathers and the pretty leaves. So I got all the colors, the blue, the purple, and the teals, and a nice mix of them, so very cool. And then Bloom Black, of course, I love Bloom Black, and this is a nice assortment of the all of the colors, so that's good, yeah. And then the last one is Bouquet Black, which as you may know, you can get some big blank spaces. I actually am pretty happy with this. 
has a nice, like, what is that, a thistle? And then just a little bit of mixed around the edges. It could have been better, but it could have been worse. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, that's it for that one. The other set I got, this one is in Magic Places. I specifically wanted the Fireworks Navy because it's red, white, and blue. And it goes with all my fireworks stuff. But I, mean, I don't have that much. I have the Sprinter. I have the Mini Puddle Jumper, which is a Mini Puddle Jumper 2. And I have a Tandem Snap. That's it. But the other two masks in this pouch are also cool. So I got the Crimson Large Dot and the Small World. So these are going to be perfect for my Disney trip in September, which is going to be like the whole month of September. So that's going to be fun. I'll definitely be hitting the parks and enjoying these. And since I sweat a lot and it will be hot, um, I will be bringing multiple masks so that I can change them out throughout the day and, and cycle them through. So that's cool. And lots of other Disney masks as well. But the Fireworks Paisley being the main one that I was trying to get. Um, I'm sorry, I said Fireworks Paisley. <laughs> that's a Vera pattern. Uh, fireworks Navy. Um, yeah, so this one is pretty decent. I got the, the navy background. I got some of the white and blue. I've got some of the red and the red and white. So I did get a nice, decent enough assortment. Um, and when you're carrying this next to your big bag that is very clearly fireworks navy as well, I just like the fun thing to matchy matchy. So that's what I got all those for. So six masks when I really wanted to. I really would love it if they would just let you customize your three pack. I know it's not. Um, a great plan because these are all pre-packaged but there are so many to choose from I just think that would be really awesome I probably would buy more masks total um, for that but now we get to the last two items and I'm really excited because my butterfly gray purses finally arrived so this first one is the Samba XL it's a new style or at least a resizing of an older style um, so that makes it new and it is a new pattern, of course. Um, so, yay. All right, here's the base of it. It's a pretty good sized purse. I would classify this as a medium or medium to large bag. Um, I think this is a great size for me because it allows me to be a bit of an overpacker and I don't have to carry around a big weighty bag and I'll still have everything I need. So this front pocket, single zipper, has that cloud quilting on it. But look at the pretty purples and teals on that, or mint green, I don't know what you call that. But it's lovely with the butterflies. Um, inside here you have your built-in wallet. So you have the cash drawer or whatever you wanna put there, and then you have four, eight card slots, you have four and four. And it is RFID, and the tag is right here down on the side. Um, in the bottom, you have an elastic there for a pen or chapstick or whatever you want to put there. And then you have a clear ID window and a zipper pocket. The zipper pocket doesn't have any organization in it. It's not soft lined, but it's a good size. And most of your lug wallets will fit in this pocket as well. It's pretty good size. And of course, I don't have any of those with me. But for reference, here's the smaller of those pouches fits very nicely down inside of there as well. So, yay. Okay, that's it for that pocket. It does have a pretty good amount of dusset to it on its own, you can kind of see on the side. It's, you know, a finger and a half thick. Above that you have your cell phone pocket, nice magnetic closure. It is a horizontal pocket. Here's my 6S Plus. And, oh yeah, it's deep. It's really deep. Like my phone only comes up to right here and the pocket's up here, so it goes all the way to the bottom, which means my phone can actually stand up in there. See that? Now, it won't magnetize closed with my phone right there because it's right at the magnet, but let's see, if I slide it to the side, ha! Huh! So if I slide it to the side, I actually could fit two of my phones side by side because this whole side is open. But when I do that, it's, it does magnetize closed. So I could use this pocket for my phone and my sunglasses. I like that, that's really cool. Excellent, okay. On the back, there's a zipper pocket that goes all the way across. It is a pretty simple pocket, but it does have two pen slots right here. So that's nice as well. Excellent, and then inside, 
First of all, we have the removable adjustable crossbody shoulder strap, and that's great. And then we have a clear pocket. Opposite that, on the back of the bag, we have two cargo pockets. They are not soft lined. You also have on this side over here, you have a key bungee with the clip on the end. And that's it. Yeah, um, the, the zipper is slightly recessed on here, but it's a flap closure zipper. So you'll be able to pack this bag basically all the way up to the top pretty easily. Yay, my Samba's here. I don't have any Samba's yet, so I don't think I do. Maybe I do, but I now I have an XL. All right, and then the last item for this combined haul is my zip liner in butterfly gray. I do love the zip liners. And if you're wondering, I have to still find some bolt cutters so that I can, my plan is still to cut this bottom ring and then put a, a removable, like a quick release loop on there in matching hardware and then make this into a crossbody option as well. So yeah, if you're waiting for that, so am I, sorry. I've been running around and away camping, doing other things. I, I am still going to do that. But these have pocket on pocket, two big zippers right here, really nice size pocket with their own gussets. I mean, look at that. It's two full fingers plus thick. Above that, you have a zipper pocket, and that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag as well. Not quite all the way across. It's about the width of the zipper straight down, so this edge side part is not part of that pocket. Um, and then above that, you have your cell phone pocket, which is a vertical orientation. Phone fits really nicely in there. Coming around to the side of the bag, on this side, you have an external pocket that is insulated. Your small chuggies will fit very nicely in here. I have not tried the 18.5 ounce chuggy, the new style. It might fit in there as well, because height was the big issue on the other ones. I'm not sure. I don't know yet. I'll have to get back with you on that. Um, but remember, of course, if you're not familiar, the interior capacity shares space with that external pocket, if you will. So when you look inside, you can see that pocket hanging down right here. So if you fill this pocket with whatever you might fill it with, it's gonna take up that inside space. If it's empty, you just push that pocket to the side and then you have full interior capacity on the bag. On the thank you card. Okay, oh, I love Okay, inside the bag, other than that, you have a key bungee with the clip on it, and that's mounted on the side there. You have two elastic cargo pockets, and you have a privacy zipper pocket um, on the back. So that's nice. No clear pockets in this one, don't really need it, but I love this bag. It is a lovely shoulder bag. Great strap drop, very comfortable to wear, and fits on my shoulder pretty well even though it doesn't have the no-slip grip. And when you want to switch instantaneously to backpack, you just pull those straps, and now you have a nice backpack. So great bag. I'm really excited to potentially, no promises, potentially add that crossbody option to this bag as well. Um, but that remains to be seen because I need bolt cutters, and I don't have them. And my neighbors don't either, I already asked. So now I gotta go buy some bolt cutters. So more to come. But that's the end of this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a great and happy Monday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay happy, stay healthy, and washy washy.